As we go through the month of July and into August, we watch every one of those tropical waves leaving the coast of Africa. And we have yet another one set to come across the Eastern Caribbean. In fact, it was probably C2. These areas of relatively low pressure leave a coast as every four to seven days, making their way across the Atlantic. And that's where we tend to find our rather unsettled weather coming by, especially if you get those intense tropical waves bringing the ITCZ into action. And we can just see here we have uh, those uh, two tropical waves, one basically just out there in uh, the Atlantic. Atlantic, but there's one closer set to come by as we go through Wednesday, and there's the intertropical convergence zone in between the two, and we'll likely see a lot of that moisture coming across the both islands as we go through late Wednesday, Thursday, and continuing into Friday, and may well be stretching into the first part of Saturday. So we have a fairly unsettled period to come with a lot of cloudiness around, and also the possibility of uh, some of those uh, heavier showers. But today we got a lot more in terms of uh, the sunshine. There was also some haze around as well, a bit of a Saharan air in there, and we'll likely can keep conditions uh, at least are tranquil for the first part of the night but definitely in Tobago watch for the clouds to build the first thing in the morning bringing in those showers also some longer spells of showers expected as we go into the afternoon the possibility of one or two of those are turning heavy and towards uh, the middle of the day and the latter half of the afternoon similarly for Trinidad you will notice that the clouds are building from the south eventually pushing all the way across into the north as we go through the early part of your morning especially along the northern range all that moisture piling up along the hills will get lifted bringing generally cloudy conditions and also some showers and as you go through mid-morning into the afternoon possibility of a heavier shower and one or two of those showers are turning heavy and it's turning thundery as well so be mindful that we could be seeing some gusty winds in those heavier showers as well as the possibility of street or flash filling according to the met service so be mindful about that as you go about your business on a wednesday it was expect a reasonably cool night, 24 degrees Celsius, before we get pleasant conditions tomorrow, no higher than 32 in Trinidad and possibly 30 in Tobago. And you notice here by the colors of the clouds are the long spells of showers expected into Thursday and uh, Friday. There should be some brightness by the time we get to Saturday, but before then, do watch out for those uh, heavier downpours into Thursday, especially for Trinidad, and also uh, thunder showers like, erupting all the way through into Friday as well. And there's only one low tide tomorrow, and that's at noon. So for those sailors, you would notice those winds shift to the southeast behind the tropical wave, but still about 50 knots, so not much in terms of white caps expected, but obviously there could be some gusty spells in those offshore showers. Now, for many parts of the Eastern Caribbean, they'll begin to see the tropical wave as well, making inroads, especially for the uh, southern part of uh, the Eastern Caribbean. Maybe not reaching as far north as Antigua, but they'll definitely get a bit more in terms of uh, their share of uh, the showers by the time they get to uh, Friday and Saturday with that uh, second tropical wave set to come through. That one will be a bit more active and therefore bring possibly more heavy showers for the Eastern Caribbean. So into the east, and we'll look and we'll leave towards the west. And for most areas here, just uh, mostly settled, not much in terms of showers, except for Santa Domingo and Port-au-Prince. There will be the showers, unfortunately, still coming across for Antigua, into St. Kitts, and then down towards Rosa and Dominica. Clear skies with a few clouds around, and then we'll get more showers pushing through, especially towards uh, the end of uh, Thursday and going into Friday. So it will be a day for the umbrellas, especially later on this week. So that's weather, and that's from me.